Hi, I'm Tim from lapsedinshutter.com and in this video we're going to cover what to do if your JVC TV has got sound but no picture. So there's five possible fixes I'm going to briefly cover. If you want any more detail on any of them, then have a look at the linked article in this video's description below. The, so the most common reason why you're seeing uh, no picture but you are getting sound is that the backlight is burnt out. But we'll first of all go across um, some of the simpler fixes just to make sure uh, it's not any of those that can that solve your problem for you. So the the first fix you should always try is just power cycling your TV. So make sure your TV is switched off and unplug it. And then hold down the physical power button for at least 15 seconds. Wait for a few minutes for any residual power to drain from your TV's capacitors. And then plug your TV back in and try switching it on again. If this hasn't worked, then have a look at your external connections and your HDMI cables. So uh, try removing all of your HDMI cables and uh, any other cables other than the power cord. And then switch your TV on and uh, pull up the on-screen menu. If you can see the on-screen menu, then uh, that means it's some, an issue with uh, one of your external connections, probably automatically switching the input. In which case, just try replacing the HDMI cables one by one uh, until you find the faulty device. But if you're still not seeing the on-screen menu, then you know it's not um, your external connections that are causing the issue. So um, before we get into the hardware issues, just make sure that there's no um, interruptions in your power supply. So if you've got a, a failing surge protector, um, and that could be causing a low voltage and uh, it's not giving you enough to, to power your screen. So just uh, remove any surge protectors or smart plugs so that your TV's got a direct line to your wall socket. You can also try a different wall socket, um, say one on the other side of the room. Uh, just make sure your household power supply isn't the issue. If it's not, then uh, it could be an issue with the internal boards or with the backlight. So most commonly it's because the backlight itself has failed. Um, or it could be the uh, the voltage inverter that powers the backlight. So the voltage inverter is either on a, a small separate board uh, with cables coming from the power board and going to the backlight, or it's located somewhere on the power board itself. Um, but either way, you can open up your TV and uh, use a multimeter just to check whether this is uh, delivering power properly. So there's more details on how to uh, do that and how to connect your TV and what all the boards look like in the linked article below. It's unlikely that all of the LEDs in the backlight would all fail simultaneously. Um, they are all connected together in series, so it's possible that it's just um, a connection going from the power board or voltage inverter to the LEDs. Um, but you can check that with a multimeter and if you need to replace all the LEDs, then that's also a very simple thing to do. But if you just check out the linked article below, that will give you more details on what to do.